you know, in the one sutra, Buddha says, it's a Mahayana sutra. He says, uh, Shariputra. Everything is of the nature of emptiness. Nothing is created, nothing is destroyed. You see, the beginner of science studies know the, 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 this. Nothing is created, nothing is destroyed. Energy cannot be created, cannot be destroyed. So in the meditation what we do is, we transform energy. Our anger, we transform into compassion. Through it. We cannot destroy it. Because when I am angry, I am the anger. I cannot destroy it. If I, am, if I come against my anger, there are two angers there. Yes. We observe, silently observe, without judging. It's not the role of a judge. We just observe, calmly, silently. Then it fades away, withers away. You see, meditation, if you practice, you will enjoy it. Really, really you will enjoy it. Did you understand as a whole now what we are going to do? Yes. yes. Then we practice and a little, some more words about uh, uh, this intelligence of the body. There was a very very important things are happening in this country. Uh, some years ago, a book was out here called uh, Heart's Code. In this book, the, sci uh, the, the heart specialists, they talk about the heart transplantation. <coughs> so one girl, teenage girl was stabbed to death. Her heart was taken. This is a true story. Eh? Heart was taken and transplanted to another girl of the same more or the same age. You know what happened? After the operation, when she came to her, she could recollect the killer of the owner of her heart. Can you imagine? Can you did you understand? Yes. Re she could recollect. This is this turned upside down the the the, the accepted uh, things in the Western medicine because for Western medicine heart is heart is nothing but a pumping station. It's more than that. Buddha has said in Buddhism, we say memory is here with the blood. Now Western science says memory is everywhere in the body, even around the body, I would say. Now there is a very new studies there are about meditation. They say, internet you can see all these things. Uh, there is a subject called neurotheology. They study the changes that take place, chemical and physical changes that take place in your brain while you are in meditation. Can you imagine? You just become silent, the changes are taking place. Then even enlightened or realization of truth can be proved. Changes are taking place. These are not uh, fair tales. Huh? Yeah, these are facts. So, meditation we need to face the society, to face the problems. If we practice meditation, it's very it's very helpful. And then our liberation we can obtain also. Before that, in your family disputes and day-to-day -day life, problems of the day-to-day -day life, you can face if you practice meditation very calmly, tranquilly and easily. So, I invite you to tell others, your friends, to meditate. Meditation is not Buddhist. It belongs to everybody. Some people think Buddhists are meditating. No, we are not meditating. We are Catholic. They say. Yeah, but Jesus has meditated. Otherwise, how can he get this? 
to, to love these his, his killers. How can you? So, this meditation is imperatively you have to do. You have to do it. So, in, in my personal life, at the young age, we didn't believe all these things. We thought also science is the good and the materialism of these things. Now, through experience, I know if you meditate, you can be happy every time. You can be with a slight smile every time. And also if you meditate. You see, um, if you play a guitar, you, you imagine uh, you play guitar here, there is a guitar leaning to the wall. Now they have discovered that the same note which I play here is res resonating in the other guitar. All these are interconnected. So that when we practice here, the universe is resonating. Universe is sensing. Universe and myself are not separate. This interconnectedness is very important in Buddhism. Everything is interconnected. You, you imagine Buddha became, while he was becoming Buddha, his wisdom, there are two things in Buddhism, wisdom and what is the other? Karuna and Prajna. Yeah. So, wisdom and compassion. So, Buddha, Buddha realizes that if the universe and myself are not separated or separate, then immediately, automatically, compassion is born. Because if you are not separated from me, you deserve my love. I should love you. So these are interconnected. So interconnected in Buddhism is very important. Interconnected in the universe. Some great masters say, if I clap my hands, even the far away relative galaxies can sense it. It's true. This is true. When you practice meditation, you can feel it. 